Hello everyone, this is Asa Laveau. I am a best-selling author, and for those of you who do not know what I do for a living, I coach entrepreneurs on how to create their next $10,000 in business. Just in case you did not catch that, I'm Asa, not Asa, not Asa, not Asia. I am Asa Laveau, not Level X. <laughs> Asa Laveau and I coach entrepreneurs on how to create their next $10,000 in business. If you know an author already, I'm letting you know up front, if you know an author, someone that's working on their book right now, tag them or share this for them to see. If you know an author, tag this, uh, tag them or share this so they can see this. I'm going to be talking author things in this moment, okay? And this is going to be a relatively quick, um, not really, well, yeah, I guess a tutorial. But this is just to let you guys know five things of how I was able to get uh, two of my books into Walmart. So five things that we're going to go over uh, very, very quickly. So first off, I've written four different books on various topics. The two in which I'm going to be talking about in this moment um, I wrote this one called I Am Man Enough, 365 Affirmations for Men. Uh, once I wrote this, actually in the process of me writing this, uh, a lot of women, and yeah, not just my mother, and I say a lot, I really do mean that, a lot of women said, where's our book? And I said, no, 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 I don't have ovaries. I'm not writing your book. Y'all not going to do to me like y'all did Steve Harvey. Ha <laughs> ha, not I. So I was very clear that I'm not writing y'all's book. And still, they pressured, they, they said, no, 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 no. And then finally, a woman asked me, Asa, if you don't write it, who will? I had no clap back for that or comeback. And so because of that, I am woman enough 365 Affirmations for Women then became a thing. Both of these books became Amazon bestsellers. Uh, this one became an Amazon bestseller actually before we actually did the launch day. It actually came out on International Women's Day in March. And both of these books are in Walmart. So if you go to walmart.com and you look up I Am Man Enough and you look up I Am Woman Enough, both of those books are in Walmart. And so how in the world did that happen? These are five things, one, two, three, four, five things to consider so that you can get your books into Walmart. The very first thing is the audience. I'm very clear in this book, and I am very clear in this book of who my audience is. I'm talking about men, men that need self-help. I'm talking about women in this book that also need self-help. That is the genre of the books that I'm writing for and I'm understanding my target market. If you tell me that your book is for everyone, I'm going to say not so because once you are talking to everyone, you are really talking to no one because if you're talking, if you're actually saying that that book is for everyone. You're saying that you're marketing uh, to an 80-year-old black man the same way you would market to a 15-year-old Asian-American woman. Like, though they have different experiences, they have different lingos, and so if you're actually marketing to both people, you are losing both people. So that's why it's important to understand who you're going after. So the first one is the audience. The second one. The second one is the cover. This is doable. It's doable. I'm more proud though of this. I got some understanding, some very good knowledge and understanding when it came to this. So your cover does not need to look as though it's a self-published book. Let's just be honest. So there are many different tools that you could be using in 2018. What you should not be using is clip art or paint. Like Microsoft Paint, you should not be doing that. Oh God, you should not be doing that. Because I can tell on a lot of times, your cover looks like garbage. Let's just be honest. Your cover looks like garbage sometimes and you just don't know how to fix that because you're doing the best you can with the information that you have at the time in which you have it. I totally understand that. I overstand that. At the same time, sometimes your stuff still looks like garbage and people don't want to buy things that look like garbage. So we need to fix that. The third thing is the ISBN. If you look at the back of the book right there, and if you look at the back of the book right there, 
those are called ISBNs. That is the tracking code to say for a company, for a bookstore, or any place to find out how to get your book. If your book doesn't have an ISBN, it's actually in modern day terms not a book because they can't purchase this wholesale and sell it on retail. So that's why it's very, very important that you have an ISBN. Are there ways to get ISBNs? Yes. Are there ways to get screwed on ISBNs? There are. Yes, yes, yes. Remember, if you know an author or you have an or you are an author or you know some more of them, please tag them in this, share this for them because this will help them. I'm almost done. I said five. We already covered three. Number four, number four, the layout. So if you look during this, this is a clean layout. That is an example of a clean layout. Sometimes people say, well, this is self-published or I'm trying to cut costs, so I'll just lay it out myself. This is not a this is not a paper. I don't care if that you have a master's degree. This is not a paper. I say again, this is not a paper. This is a book. This needs to be laid out properly in a book format that doesn't bleed to the edge. Meaning when it's printed, the lines and the letters aren't on the edge. That's going to be important. And that's going to be based off of your measurement of your book based on the measurement inside. So you can't just arbitrarily put a book together. Everything has a reason. So if your layout person never asked you what size book you're doing already, that's a no-no, okay? So that's number four. Number five, the last final thing of reason why I got the book into these two books into Walmart is uh, distribution, distribution channels. So can you do a lot of things to get your book out yourself? Of course you can. Of course you can. And will that book be accessible to Walmart? No, because if Walmart desires to sell your book and you get a thousand orders in a day, how do you then make that work? How is your uh, logistics, um, how, yeah, how are your distribution, your logistics all together? So if you're doing everything yourself and you're printing these yourself, or your printing takes two weeks to do, that's not going to suffice uh, someone on a very large scale that has a large quantity of orders. That won't work for you. So <clears throat> I said all of those five things to assist you. I want to make sure you at least know what to do as you're working on getting your book. Remember, if this is you know an author or um, you are one, no, if you are one, you're listening great. But if you know another one, please tag them or share this. If you are someone that desires some assistance um, with your book, I can do that. This is Labor Day weekend. This, right, this video is recorded on the Friday of Labor Day weekend. So in case you are someone that really needs some support, um, I'm willing to do a Labor Day special. I'll do an hour of helping you uh, for the marketing and the sale of it for $100. Yep, $100, but that's only for five people. And why is that? Because I talked to my mother today and she reminded me about what my life was like becoming an author and some struggles that I was dealing with, some challenges that I had. And so because I'm remembering what I was dealing with, I want to be able to be a blessing to an author. Yes, I know that my information is more than $100. I, I am very much aware of the value of the content I'm providing. And still, I am choosing to be a blessing to someone. So if you know anybody that that would be a beneficial to over this weekend, um, I'll give them... I'll, allow them to have an hour of my time that's individual that's not a group so individual a hundred dollars to get that all you have to say is you want in that's all you have to say yeah or message me individually and I'm here to support you and I'll let you guys know when there are no more spaces again my name is Ace Laveau as always dreams and blessings